I'm Mark Howardall, co-founder of Cortical Metrics. Cortical Metrics is a company that's dedicated to developing non-invasive objective measures of brain health. And the way we do that is through sensory percept. For the last 10 years, we've been developing better technology and better scientific methods for actually analyzing what goes on in your brain just by delivering stimuli to your fingertips. We do that now with our newest device called the Brain Gauge, which has morphed from 10 years of development of technology from a 30 pound device down to something that can be held in your hand. And what this does is it vibrates your fingertips and nerves in your fingers are directly connected to two places in your brain that are side by side. And what this allows us to do is stimulate the brain in a very precise fashion and then ask the subject or the patient very specific questions about what they feel. Now, in addition to looking at how well those two places in the brain deliver stimuli, we also deliver illusions to the skin. When you deliver an illusion to the skin, just like when you deliver a visual illusion, what your mind is doing is connecting the dots so you actually see a pattern. But that pattern is not there if the brain does not work well. What we've done in most of our tests is developed a series of illusions or a series of illusions that only appear if the subject is healthy. So we don't need to deliver baseline testing to see if those illusions appear for post-blast subjects. So when we deliver two stimuli to the skin and we deliver something that's illusory, what happens is someone who's not healthy actually performs better than someone who is healthy. One thing that we've done is we've made this extremely easy to set up. This will plug into any device that runs Google Chrome. It's just a simple USB connection. The only thing that the personnel have to do to administer a test is have the subject sit down and tell them to answer the questions on the screen. The subject, basically all he has to do is run what looks like a game. All the questions are very easy and they relate to what the subject feels on their fingertips, such as which one felt larger, which one was uh, lasted longer, which one was quicker. And all those questions are related to interactions between those two adjacent places that are side by side. And if there's any systemic alteration in brain health, that such as what you would get from a blast from an explosion or exposure to blast, or what you would get for pharmacological insult or from a neurological disorder or from any degenerative disorder, those sensory percepts will change and change significantly. We've developed a number of metrics. Some of these metrics are very sensitive to systemic cortical alterations or systemic changes in brain health. And some are very sensitive to neuroanatomical pathways or specific places where things go on in the brain. When we combine all our measures from our 20 minute battery, we currently have a 99% confidence level for differentiating concussed from non-concussed individuals. Our measures are proving to be very sensitive to where impact is on the brain. For example, some measures are impacted much more prominently if the subject's hit on the front of the head versus on the top of the head. This has been proven to be an effective tool for tracking subjects to recovery. On day two post-concussion, the subjects look very poor. The measures that we find don't look anything like normative values. By day seven, they're starting to recover, and often they don't recover until day 14 or day 21, but they generally recover after two to three weeks. Over a 10-year period, the development of cortical metrics technology involved several major tasks all happening in parallel. We had the science and the procedures and the protocols for doing the testing, but we also had some very difficult challenges in the hardware as well as the electronics. We've developed cortical metrics using the most recently available electronics for control and interface. Things that we're using in our current products weren't even available just a few years ago. 
as far as the mechanical design is concerned, we had very stringent challenges because it has to interface with a human being and it has to be able to measure displacements less than a micron. It has to have extremely high fidelity frequency wise. The frequency has to be exactly correct. And there's really nothing commercially available that can do that. So we had a very difficult parallel development task for this product. We had to make an ultra precise mechanical displacement system that had very high fidelity into the hundreds of hertz. We had to condense a very large electronic control circuit down into something that would fit inside a computer mouse. And we had to do all of this while reducing the cost of the device by about three orders of magnitude, by about a factor of a thousand in order for it to be affordable enough for people to use it. So to summarize, in partnership with the Office of Naval Research, we're currently developing a neurosensory assessment tool to detect mild TBI. And eventually it will be a very short test to administer. It'll be easy to train people to administer. It's very difficult to game. Many of the metrics demonstrate that concussed subjects actually outperform healthy subjects. It's objective, reliable, quantitative, and it's physiologically based. Uh, the technology's been demonstrated in over 40 peer-reviewed publications. It's baseline independent. It will be a very portable device, much more portable than any other device to date, which can be miniaturized, ruggedized, and manufactured at a relatively low cost for field deployment. Thank you.